So today I'm going to tell you how to make a Cat 5e patch cable. Um, we're going to be using the 568B wiring scheme. Um, there is another wiring scheme called the 568A. We won't be using that because the B is apparently the going standard. So a lot of controversy about that. Uh, but we're just going to use that one for today. Now the tools that you'll need will be your wire obviously. It's going to be Cat 5E or Cat 6. We're using Cat 5E today. You'll need some kind of crimping tool. Um, one that does the RJ45. This one does the RJ45s. And this one does RJ45 and RJ11. And this one happens to be a ratcheting version. Both of these have cutting tools on them and tools to remove the outside sleeve here. You will also need your connectors. These are RJ45 connectors. Pretty basic. They get to be spendy, but I happen to find them for a really cheap price for 100 for about 2 or $3 online on eBay. That's what you'll need there. You'll need two of those. And your tester. Um, this is just a basic tester. It doesn't do anything but send a low voltage to the wire to make sure that the connection is 100% there. Um, install a larger button on it that's kind of a little bit easier to press. The button I came with was kind of not very great. You've got your RJ45 and your RJ11 on one side. And same thing here, duplicated. And these do come apart here so that you put one on one side of the cable and the other on the other side of the cable. And this will go for a pretty decent distance. This is a decent price too. It runs on 9 volts. Um, basically put one end in, the other end there. And you turn on. It shows you it's working. There's nothing lit up because I don't have any wires on there. And that's the test tool. That's just a basic test tool. There are more advanced tools out there. Um, so yeah, that's about all the tools you need. So let's get started. We're going to start with our wire here. This is Cat 5E wire. Just a short length. Real short. For this demonstration. And what you want to do is use your tool to remove a portion of the outside coating here, the uh, sleeve. Probably do maybe one and a half inches here. Slide it into your tool, as you can see here. There's a cutting blade on one side. Take it, bring it in uh, about one and a half inches. Hold down, let it just lightly, and rotate it. And let go. You can see you've got a little bend in there. Pop that off. Now save the uh, outside um, strip here. You'll need that for later. And then you need to grab the string that's inside your wire. Usually they come with it. Take your sleeve that was left over. And just kind of wrap it around like so. So you can get a little bit of a grip on there. What you want to do is use the string and give it a good pull. Bring it down maybe about another inch and a half. Save this. You're going to still need this. The outside sleeve. And just peel back this here. And you want to kind of find where your major cut. I say, you know, it's usually about inch and a half back and then maybe another quarter inch. And you want to take that and use your cutoff tool. And you want to give it maybe about, uh, we'll give it about an inch cut. Okay. Now, you want to take your excess here and stick your tool in there and just trim off the excess here. And just hold it real tight, come down on it, and here's your excess gone. Now with the string here, you want to do the same thing. A little bit more of a ability to get that string out of there. There are better tools for this, I just don't have them. <laughs> Um, oops, I got the wrong side here. And just trim her as close as you can. Throw the string away. And there you go. Okay, so what you want to do, once you get everything all stripped out, start separating all your pairs. Now, your striped orange will be on the left, 
then comes solid orange, then comes your striped green, which you can barely see. So striped orange, solid orange, striped green. Okay, hold those nice and tight. Then you want your solid blue. Make sure they're nice and tight. Then you want your striped blue. As you can see. So you got striped orange, solid orange, striped green, solid blue, and striped blue. Okay, and next you want your solid green. Then you want your striped brown. Okay. Make sure they're nice and flat. And next would be the solid brown. And what I do makes it a little easier, just kind of bend it around your finger and bring it back. And it gives you a little bit better control over it. Okay. So the colors you want to go by. I'm going to show you here. Striped orange on the left, solid orange, striped green, solid blue, striped blue, solid green, striped brown, and solid brown. Okay. So now you've got all the wires in the correct places. Now what you want to do, you take your cutoff tool here and Put it in and give it maybe about maybe about a quarter inch. Should be good right about there. Give her a cut. As you can see here, how you've got the actual button part of it or the release on the bottom like so. So keep it straight up like this. Okay. Then you take and place your connections straight in. They just slide right in. And your best bet is to make sure that your sheathing on the outside of the cable here goes into the inside of the connector. It'll make a better connection. Okay, make sure when you're looking at your connector that your release is on the bottom see that little lever right there and keep that on the bottom make sure that on the left side you have your striped orange and it goes from there to the right and on the right should be the solid brown okay now what you want to do is take your crimp tool put your wire inside the correct oops, terminator here make sure it's in the correct way and you just squeeze down slowly till it clicks or till it stops depending on the tool you have you release you pull out and there you have it one connected end I usually give it a little bit of tug to make sure it's not going nowhere and it won't and you've got yourself a patch cable so now let's test this cable here using our tester. What you can do is take one part of your, your wire, stick it in the tester, take your other part of the wire, stick it into the other end of the tester, Oops, got upside down there. There we go. It's kind of a cheap one. So as long as you've got every single light on each side lights up with the same number on the other side so if you get a one here you should have a one here okay and that's just the way this tester works so this means that we did a good job and we made a cable that it worked so that wraps up this tutorial um, if you'd like you can go ahead and visit my technology blog at www.missionduke.com as always I post down there every once in a while right now um, soon it will be regular postings and check out the cool things that I enjoy playing with and checking out talk to you later